Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we got our aluminum production process all built out. We got our electrolyzers here, powder mixers, through the whole process to getting aluminum plate. So that is what we have. Then we went and built in our belt that is going to, or that is transporting silicon ore for the purpose of making glass. Uh, the only issue is that we're going to need quite a few powder mixers. And I didn't have those available to me at the time. Um, so I just kind of uh, ended things there. So we need to get the glass production line up and running. And then move on to the next thing. So that is where we are at right now. I did go ahead and run back. Uh, into the old home base, picked up all the stuff that I'm going to need, filled out the truck, got this all nice and filled out with all various things uh, that we're probably going to need. I also went ahead and finished building in all of the rail. I also added in all of the warehouses for loading, for all of, well, for many of the various products, I think I counted out correctly. We'll see. So as we know, their project is routing belts to feed into these warehouses. Is probably something I'm going to do on my own. Um, we'll see. Uh, because again, it's just going to be snaking belts through all the spaghetti and. Um, Routing things where they need to be. So. That is where we're at with that. So. Let's get to the next project, which is going to be the glass. And we needed 18. I don't know, I have 20 of them on me. Though I have a bunch more in there, so what we're probably going to do is actually just make a blueprint. Which is actually the best way to do it, so let me just throw those back in there. So, you guys are going to be making glass mixtures. And you're going to be offset there. Perfect. And this is probably just going to be a temporary blueprint. I don't think I'm going to need... Very many of these. All right, so that's gonna be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Oh, I didn't get that belt in. Ah, well, no big deal. That's easy enough to put in manually. There we go. And then all this runs into a single induction furnace. All right. Oh yeah, I put, I put everything away when I went to go fill it up, so I don't have my induction furnaces or my casting machines on me. And it is casting machines that I need, right? Yeah, casting machines. Not strand casting machines, just regular ones. Uh, induction furnaces. Induction furnaces and the casting machines look so similar with their icon. There we go.
And you are making molten glass. Uh, molten glass is this molten lead. And it also occurs to me that I have not made a line of lead plate. I don't know that I'm going to need it. I'm probably going to need it. Um, let's just put four inserters on there. I don't think we're going to need four inserters, but we'll put them on there anyway. And just three casting machines is what we're going to be using. We're actually going to do four because I'm trying to keep everything on even numbers. And you're making glass. Helps me distribute load on the belts a lot easier. There we go. There's our glass. All right. What to do about the lead plate. So, this is done. This is done. And we've been through all of this. So, we should be good to go to go ahead and get rid of that. Alright. Now, what I'm thinking we're going to need the lead plate for... Is for... Oh, where are you? Where, oh, where are you? It's going to be for batteries. It's going to be for batteries. Where are the batteries? Let's just do it the easy way. There you are, battery. Yep, it wants lead plate. So here's the lead ingot being made into solder. Here's the lead ingots uh, feeding in as part of the, what was this? This was zinc process. But we are not actually making lead plate off of this. Do we have the option to make lead sheet coils? We do have the option of making lead sheet coils. Okay. What are the rates at which 
point five. So if we do this from sheet coils, using those... We can make 0.5 per second. So one every two seconds. Batteries. Actually, we can probably make one every second, give or take. Off of that. You know, that works. All right, so what we're going to do is way over here. Uh, no, where is it? Where's our line of lead ingots? It's over here. It's easy enough to borrow this. Um... We're not going to set up any kind of prioritization because I'm going to need both of these equally, so that's fine. Yeah, and because the lead that's feeding into the zinc process is only an emergency case where, for some reason, if it's off by a very slight amount... And we might need additional lead fit in that system to keep it running. But it shouldn't need any new lead added. It should always be able to recycle what it's currently using. Do I just want to go ahead and make batteries here? Do I just want to go ahead and make the batteries? Let's make sure we don't need lead plate for anything else. Anything else critical. Lead plate. What is it used for? Bullet projectiles and shotgun pellets. Are also going to use oh we need plastic. For okay, no, then we're not gonna be making the batteries because we haven't made plastic production yet. Okay, then. Very well. That's probably gonna be the next thing we're gonna need to make is plastic. A big refinery is probably gonna be in order. All right. Um. Okay, then. We're going to need more power. We're going to need more power. One induction furnace, one strand casting machine. Uh, for the strand casting machine, we're going to need some groundwater. We're going to need the induction furnace. We're just gonna... All right, you are down here. You are making molten lead. And 
and a strand casting machine, which we should have. Over here. Yep. All right. Lead sheet coils. And we have a groundwater pump. So that's the question. The next thing that we're going to build, I did not anticipate that this was going to be that long. This was going to take up that much space, but it's okay. You know, I could have arranged this into a much more kind of compacted area, but then it wouldn't be expandable. We'd have to build another one, but um, I wanted it to be set so that if we did get another source of ore, I could just bring the trains in, you know, set up trains to come in here because we have all the parking over there. And then we could just expand all these production lines until we get the technology to make something significantly more effective. That's the thinking. Anyway. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to use kind of this wall as a guideline for sectioning off the area that is going to be dedicated to all of the smelting and room for expansion. So down here is where we're going to do the next bits of manufacturing. Again, we're going to be building on top of the mining areas, but it's okay. If we need more coal or bobmonium or crotinium or whatever else we need there's other places we can go to go get it yes we're gonna have to fight fighters to do it but so be it so do we get a refinery going that will let us get things like resin and plastic and some other materials. Let's look at what we're gonna need. I know that we're gonna need plastic. Like, we already know that. So batteries is one of the things that we're gonna need to make. One of the other things we're gonna need to make is We're going to need to make basic circuit boards. We're going to need to make basic electronic boards. We are going to need to make circuit boards. Okay. And we are going to need to make electronic circuit boards. Now, the question is, do I actually need these for anything? Do I need ju the, the, the basic circuit boards? Not the basic circuit Basic circuit boards are these. The circuit boards here, what are they used for? They're used for construction and logistic robot brain one. Now, construction and logistic robot brains are probably going to be part of the actual foundry itself. So... The, um, and by foundry, I mean electronics foundry. 
So yes, we are going to need... No, these are productivity modules. We're going to have to get those, but I think they're going to be in the next electronics facility that we're going to build, not this one. Um, so where are the robot brains listed? These are all vehicle equipment, modules, gems. Ah, it makes sense. Yeah, we're going to need... We're not going to worry about combat robots right now. But construction robot brains... And logistics robot brains are all going to be part of this project as well. Anything else? Okay. question is going to be how much are we going to want to make well let's flag it to say you know what a full transport belt let's see what it would take to actually do that now uh what type of we can make electronics assembly machines Yeah, we can make the electronics assembly machine ones. And those are smaller, easier to use. So, and we have piles of them, so we can go grab more than 30 of them. That's not, a, that's not crazy. So, um... You would need 22.5 per second of the copper wire coils. I don't think we're making anywhere near that much. We are making the copper wire coils. We have two strand casting machines worth. Yeah. Not even close. What if we computed by factory and said we have one, two, so we can make two per second of them. Two per second is actually a decent rate, all told. For what we're going to be using it for at this point, yeah. Not bad. So for this, let's do an output rate of one per second of these. We need that. Okay, so 
We are going to be getting solder from coils. That's fine. We have our one per second board. So we have half of these coming over here. Uh, we're going to need to make basic electronic com electric components. Uh, we are going to need tin copper wire from that. Going to be easy. We need some carbon. Carbon is also not going to be a problem. Is there going to be a better way of getting carbon? Mm, now we're just going to have to separate off some coke and bring that in. And some steam. Not a problem. Alright. So that'll take care of that. Ooh, hold on. We need to figure out our wooden boards. You can make the wooden boards from wood, or we can again make the wooden boards from paper. I think from paper was actually more effective. Because the paper can be made. Bit of hydroxide. Chlorine gas. We have sources of those. Like, how much are we talking about? That's not a ton. You get a byproduct of sodium hypochlorite. We can get the sulfite um, or the cellulose pulp, brown liquor, pulping liquor, ammonia gas. Now, this would be the best option, but that's a lot of infrastructure we just don't have. Not at the moment. Alginic acid, brown algae. And the cellulose fiber can come from green algae. Now again, we could set this up. We have threes, right? I know I have the algae farms under production. The question is... Clay bricks, bronze plate, bronze pipe. Is that is that what I'm making? Yes, we are making the threes. Okay. How many threes would I need? I would need eight threes. In this process, yeah, that works. We'll use the algae process to make the paper again. Just because it's all it's going to need as an input is water. Um, the other process needs blades, which requires iron plates. And I'm not sure I want to. 
um, consume the iron for that purpose right now. Okay, so we're going to get uh, sodium hypochlorite as a byproduct here. Um, what is, is that used for anything? Uh, calcium carbonate, no. Sodium hyperchlorite. It is not used in... No, there is something that it can be used for. We just haven't researched it yet. We can take ammonia gas and sodium hyperchlorite and make monochloramine gas. And the monochloramine gas is used to make dimethylhydrazine, which is rocket fuel, and hydrazine. I see. So the answer to that question is no. There's no real use for it yet. It might be worth keeping around as a small supply. Just to throw into the logistics system. So that it's there. But ultimately it's, it's you know... It's not critical that we have that. Okay. All right. So for this, you need, okay. You would need these electronic assembly machine tubes, which we're not going to have. So we're going to have to use assembly machine twos. Um, copper plate is going to come from copper sheet coils. Tin plate is come from tin sheet coils. The ferric chloride solution, hydrogen chloride gas. Interesting. Some iron ore and some hydrogen chloride gas. We're going to have to figure out how it is that we're going to make that. I mean, it's not that difficult. Chlorine and hydrogen. We have we have that kicking around. Maybe just a matter of figuring out from what source we want it and make sure that we can always that it's always going to be available. So not really a problem. Okay. Phenolic boards. All right. For the phenolic boards, we need wood and we're going to need resin. So we're going to actually have to have a wood production system to make this work. You know, the resin can come from this process, urea gas and formaldehyde, make liquid resin, and then we can make resin from liquid resin. Um, we can also make resin from wood, a bioprocessor. Uh, since we're already gonna be demanding wood, I mean, the liquid resin uh, since we're already going to be using wood, it would probably be a good idea to just get the wood from the resin, or get the resin from the wood that we're already going to be making. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this. Soil, tree seeds, fertilizer.
Okay. So if we're going to make two per second of this, just to scale it to the same level, we would need 42 greenhouses. If we were to use, say, fertilizer, we would need 16 greenhouses. How does one make fertilizer? Nitric acid, ammonia gas, and urea gas. That makes sense. Compost and urea. We have the nitric acid. The ammonia and the urea will have to get, come from somewhere else. We'll have to look into that. Okay. Uh, let's let's just scale this to one per second for the time being. Um, yeah, you're gonna come from that. Actually, what we probably should do is just come in here, come in here, get rid of this. Because that production should probably be its own thing because it's going to go both directions. Yep. We're going to be making this. We're going to need how much? Five per second here per second so we're gonna need let's just say 10 per second and then we need the carbon yep okay that'll do And then we're also going to need transistors. And we're going to need it for this. And we're going to need it for this. Uh, we're going to need to scale this. Well, what's probably going to happen is if we're not making this, then we'll make the brains. Brains are not super critical. The brains are basically the same recipe. Okay, that's fine. And for the transistors, we're going to need silicon wafers, which are going to come from monosilicon, molten silicon, monosilicon seed. Okay. But well, we're kind of getting along here, so. What we'll probably do is just get started on these electronics here. Get that built out and running, and then we'll start working on the next stage. These electronics. And then we'll figure out what it is we're going to do and how we're going to do it. All right, we'll go ahead and stop here for now. A lot of kind of planning again. But, you know, that's the way it is. Alright, so for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.